We'd always had a church custom. In the past, I believe there was a tradition of oak leaves in the morning and boys' love and sting nettles in the afternoon. And we decided to have some more added bits and pieces. We do this to commemorate the restoration of the monarchy in 1660. On May the 29th, it's a special day when we have the raising of the oak branch. The procession starts at the car park with the bell ringers carrying the oak branch which has been cut from the local woods and uh, people dressed in period costume. And then we go to the church and lower the old oak branch and then raise a new one to take its place on the top of the church tower. This commemorates the fact that Charles Stuart had been soundly defeated by the forces of Parliament and was then smuggled to the continent. There he remained for some 12 years till 1660 when after the death of Cromwell, Oliver Cromwell, the Parliament eventually decided it would be a good idea to recall the King. On the 29th of May, 1660, the King entered London. And so it was the idea that everybody stuck up an oak branch to show how loyal they were. And uh, on the way up to the church will be ladies dressed in period costume to hand out little um, bits of wheat and biscuits and things like that. And then we go to the church uh, to have some barbecue, drink some wine and general jollifications and listen to the musicians. People often wonder why there's such a big church in such a remote moorland area. Well, um, mostly related to the mining. So the uh, rich landowners then put their money into the church and some of the windows are from that, that time. When the other churches, the iconoclasts, came and smashed up their windows, uh, but they didn't do it in St. Neat, and so St. Neat hangs on to things when others have stopped. But I don't think nowadays people think of anything about royalists or, or any other reason, it's just day out, day out and jollifications. So I think it'll go on for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs>